Hi, my name is April Clovis. I'm president and CEO of MSU Federal Credit Union. Today we're at our headquarters campus and we're celebrating Lansing 501 and the launch of their new platform for young professionals in the Lansing, Greater Lansing community to know what opportunities are available to them for not only employment as interns or maybe entry beginning career positions, but also what is available to them to experience in the Greater Lansing community as they make choices about living and working in our community. So highlighting programs, events, other fun things to do for a great experience overall. Alright, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, so pleased you all could be here uh, this morning. Really appreciate you joining us uh, today. Uh, thank you to MSU Federal Credit Union for hosting us at their beautiful uh, corporate campus. My name is Chris Sell and I'm the Founder and Executive Director of Lansing 501. As you may already know, Lansing 501 is a nonprofit organization fueled by employer partners and a volunteer team of young professionals that aims to attract and retain emerging talent to the Lansing region by showcasing the best of Lansing to Lansing's future. We do this primarily through unique events, career-focused programming, and of course, place-based marketing initiatives. What began in 2016 as a dream and a vision has really turned into a formidable movement. In just over three years, Lansing 501 has cumulatively welcomed uh, more than 5,000 young professionals and college interns at its events, and we now count more than 35 area companies and organizations as employer partners, including many of the largest in our entire region, some of whom are represented uh, in the room here this morning. While we understand the important ways in which our events serve as a vehicle for illustrating Lansing's continued transformation into a destination community for emerging professionals, we have known for some time that Lansing 501 would need to expand marketing efforts in order to fulfill our mission and vision of attracting world-class talent and connecting that talent to our region's dynamic portfolio of hiring companies and our region's remarkable sense of place. For the last decade, hiring companies in major metropolitan markets across the United States have reiterated that finding and keeping talent has been their number one challenge and priority. The Lansing Region's employers have continually reaffirmed that this challenge applies to our community too. Nearly a year ago, we published a beautiful photo book called the Lansing 501 Guide, uh, which featured 20 of the coolest, unique, and most compelling places to visit across our region. The Lansing 501 Guide became a powerful visual tool for community stakeholders and company recruiters trying to convince job candidates and prospective residents that the Lansing region was truly a great community in which to live and work and play. The success of the 501 Guide led our team to ask our employer partners, how could we better help them identify, hire, and retain the talent that they were seeking? How can we work together to truly showcase the best of Lansing to Lansing's future? Our inquiries led us to discover that our community's employers lack the comprehensive and user-friendly resources necessary for visually illustrating Lansing's value proposition to prospective residents. They needed something simple, yet powerful. A one-stop shop that could help talented professionals understand why Lansing is an amazing place in which to live and play, make new friends, or raise a family, and plant long-term roots. It became clear to our team at Lansing 501 that we could continue the pursuit of our mission attracting and retaining emerging talent to the region and fulfill a pressing need in our community by completely transforming Lansing501.com into an awe-inspiring landing page for the region, a digital tool that would be used by community partners and company recruiters to feature career, quality of life, and living resources across our region to attract and retain talent in Lansing. And to do this the right way, to maximize that return on investment, we need some serious support to do it. The Tri-County Regional Planning Commission, one of our premier sponsors and community partners, has long shared our goal of fostering prosperity in our community through regional collaboration. The Planning Commission has steadfastly increased their support of Lansing 501 each of the last few years, helping fund some of our most unique events that aim to showcase our region's wide spectrum of multimodal transit and transportation options and abundance of natural resources and community gems like the Lansing River Trail and our regional trail system. When we began to discuss our hopes for creating a new digital web platform to better help attract and retain talent in the Tri-County Tri area, the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission didn't hesitate in expressing their support and asking how they could help us make it a reality. Under Executive Director Jim Snell's leadership, collaborating with Economic Development Program Manager Rachel Elsinga at Tri-County has been an enriching and rewarding experience. 
We are so thankful for their willingness to step forward and offer us their generous financial support for this new project. With their support, we can feasibly meet our goal of launching and unveiling this new web platform in the fall of 2019. Knowing that we need substantially more funds to really create the talent platform we'd envisioned, we began to approach some of our employer partners as early as last fall about the opportunity to increase their sponsorship support. Thankfully, the MSU Federal Credit Union, which has been a supporter of ours since day one, was the first companies to significantly increase their support for organization with a specific intent to fund a new comprehensive web platform. In fact, it was this past winter when we learned that MSU Federal Credit Union staff had successfully utilized the Lansing 501 Guide to help lure an executive from the San Francisco area to the Lansing region for a position at the organization. It was a compelling story indeed. Under President and CEO April Klobis' exceptional leadership, MSU FCU has been an exceptional partner. Working with HR business partner Sean Darling, Sean Darling has been tremendous. Their belief in organization and our vision for this new marketing initiative has been unwavering. We are still grateful for the support and excited about our partnership going forward. And as early as last fall, during our team's preliminary discussions about this new project, we began to think about what type of complementary regional marketing campaign we might wish to spearhead. Coincidentally, this was around the time that the city of Lansing launched their very successful My Kind of People campaign highlighting the talented people and special places that make Lansing so great. It occurred to us, wouldn't it be great if we could work with the City of Lansing staff and their partnering creative agency, Red Hat Design Studio, to carry on the spirit of their campaign and expand it to make it a truly regional effort, highlighting Lansing's amazing communities, from Williamston to Grand Ledge, from St. John's to Eaton Rapids, all of the communities within our Tri-County region and the talented people that are already choosing to call this place home. Lansing Mayor Andy Shore and his administration, including Deputy Mayor Samantha Harkins, have been extremely supportive of Lansing 501 from the beginning. We're thrilled about the chance to collaborate and carry the torch for this campaign, illustrating why the Lansing region is my kind of people. There are several folks standing behind me here today, obviously, that generously offered to share a few remarks about today's announcement. Uh, first off, I'd like to introduce our mayor, City of Lansing Mayor Andy Shore. Well, thanks, Chris. This is um, this is great. This is, I mean, awesome. It's 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 an honor to be here. Um, yes, I am very supportive of Lansing 501. In my year and a half, I've gotten to stand with them in back alleys and on rooftops. And uh, I didn't do the zip lining, but I watched it. Um, but we love it. We love everything they're doing. We love the the whole concept behind Lansing 501. Um, we love that that they are helping us to attract and retain talent in Delancing. You know, we know that we are, are growing and, and building capacity. We know there's more things to do at nights and on weekends. Um, but having this organization engaging uh, young professionals and talent is tremendously important to, to, to our mission in Lansing and throughout the region. So uh, I'm even more excited to see the digital platform that they're going to be putting up to, to help with this effort to attract and retain talent here in Lansing. Um, this is going to be a, an incredible tool in our toolbox to make sure that, um, that we can showcase our city um, and the region. So we were thrilled in my state of the city to, to announce our, our My Kind of People campaign. You know, we always talk about um, the excitement of Lansing, but uh, a lot of the excitement of, of Lansing is our people. Our people are our greatest asset. So being able to, to kind of announce that and to see the tremendous feedback that we have received as part of that whole branding campaign. We had a new logo, but it wasn't just about a new logo. It was about a new attitude. It was about a Lansing Forward plan. And it was about talking about our people. Um, when we launched the campaign, we designed this campaign to tell the stories, to tell the stories of our diverse, of our vibrant and unique people who make up our community. Um, so Lansing 501's vision to preserve the tone and the message while also share the knowledge of, of my kind of people, of the people of Lansing and the people of our region, no matter where they are, was tremendously important because now we can tell that story. So we as a city are excited to share this campaign um, and be consistent on a regional level to effectively talk about why Lansing is a great place to live, to visit, to, uh, to work, to have a family, and to call home. Um, the, Lansing, the Lansing 501, their communication is, is very important for us to make sure that emerging professionals hear that story. Um, and this digital platform will be that place to help to collect and to show and to push out that, that message. 
um, to ensure that you know, we know we're getting out and getting the talent to grow Lansing and to ensure this exciting Lansing future. And now to share that throughout our region, um, that's, that's really what we want to do. We want to talk about all the exciting things through those stories, through my kind of people. So we appreciate Lansing 501. We appreciate um, the, the backing behind that when you stand here with, with an April Clovis and, and with Jim Snell and, and many of the partners. Um, they all believe in, in talent attraction and retention. It's, it's their employees, but it's also great for the region. And, um, and we know that when we tell those stories, um, people love it. People love to hear those stories. It generates buzz. It generates excitement. So, um, so we're excited to see the expansion and the pushing regionally of my kind of people. So thank you to Lansing 501 and to all the partners. We are here because Lansing 501, which is an organization of, of people who are trying to attract young professionals to Lansing and to the region, uh, they are announcing a new digital platform where they're, you know, they've had several events and things like that to talk about the cool things that there are to do in Lansing after hours and on weekends, and they're doing that throughout the region. So um, we've done a lot of work with them, and now they are they're taking our my kind of people tagline. We at the state of the city, we talked about my kind of people and the excitement of of Lansing's people. You know, you've got buildings and roads and things, but people come here and they love Lansing and they love our area because of the people that are here. Um, and now Lansing 501 is going to utilize that as we try and attract talent and use that in their marketing and on their new uh, website and digital tool. And for us, it's another tool in our toolbox. We want more and more uh, millennials and young people and you know and everyone else and seniors and, and families to, to live in Lansing but as Lansing 501 talks about things after work and weekends and and the excitement of Lansing they're gonna talk about the people and and we're excited about that we we're happy that that uh, this organization which is a regional organization for our tri-county area is gonna take this my kind of people and talk about the people of the region um, you know, in Lansing and, and surrounding Lansing. So we're looking forward to it. We're excited and, and of course we want more and more uh, young people and, and any people to, to live in Lansing and, and they'll all be my kind of people. Uh, next up, I'd like to introduce Executive Director of the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission, uh, Jim Snell. Good morning, everybody. It's, it's nice to be here. Um, it's also good that, that we're the one that bring the check. So no matter what I say, you probably don't even, you won't remember it. You just remember the big check we're going to give you in a minute. Um, I should note that Tri-County um, not only supports efforts like this, but we actually use efforts like this. Um, recently, over the last few years, our staff has had tremendous turnover. Uh, we've been very fortunate to be able to uh, replace the staff with some very talented professionals, some of which are in the room today. Uh, and also, I think it's really good for us to be able to take advantage of, of what Lansing 501 is working on, and certainly we'd like to support that. It's, I, we, we see this as more of an investment than really a donation or anything like that. So it's been really good. Um, during recent interviews, um, I always ask the question, uh, you know, why do you want to work for Tri-County? Why, why Tri-County? Um, to be honest, nobody ever wants to work for Tri-County. They, they want to come back to the region. Most of, most of, the, most of the folks we interview um, are either recent graduates, MSU, LCC, uh, or they grew up here, they were born here, and they want to come back, start their professional careers, and really get things going. So that's it's really encouraging. So programs like this really are working. It's good to see that, you know, the, the energy and, and things that are coming from that. We, we are uh, not only a supporter, but we benefit from this, as, as many in our community do. Uh, we, we have a young staff that we just recently uh, had some tremendous turnover, and I think without efforts like this, we would, uh, we would be struggling to find and retain uh, talent in, in the Tri-County region. So our, 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 our look at this isn't just to, uh, in terms of donating and, and providing funding, it's really an investment to, for all of us to, to be able to make sure that we maintain the, the talent pool that we need in the region. Excellent. All right, thank you again, Jim. Really, really appreciate your organization's support. Um, been a steadfast supporter since day one, and we're thrilled, really, about this opportunity. Uh, going forward. Uh, certainly, uh, last but not least, I'd like to introduce Abel Clovis, President and CEO of the MSU Federal Credit Union. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our headquarters. And uh, we've been a partner with Lansing 501, as Chris mentioned, from the beginning. 
partially because all of our efforts to attract and retain talent is what is important for all employers in the region. There isn't a meeting that I don't attend in our community of leaders that the topic isn't focused on how do we recruit and retain talent in our region. And so programs like Lansing 501 are critical for all of our businesses to be successful and to have the best and brightest working for our companies and helping grow and foster this community and region that we live in. So the efforts of Lansing 501 are important not only for our organization, but I believe for the entire region to be successful. And we need a completely thriving region for each individual business to be successful. So this has been a great program for us. We have no less than 30 interns at any given time in our organization. And through the programs, we've been able to highlight why they might want to continue to stay and work with us throughout the rest of their career and, and hopefully move into full-time employment. I know we do have uh, one of our managers who's now been with us for seven years who started as an intern. And so programs like this really help to highlight what we have in the region and why it would be great to stay at a company like ours. So we're really excited to partner with Lansing 501 and see the programs continue to grow and continue to make this a great community for everyone. We have a check as well. <laughs> Today we were also able to present the Lansing 501 with a donation to help with their efforts to grow the program and hopefully continue on its success and have more and more opportunities for the interns and young professionals in our community. All right here. Um, as I would like to just wrap things up here, uh, I want to thank you again, MSU Federal Credit Union in April, and your staff for being here today, hosting us here at beautiful campus. Uh, really appreciate the partnership. It's been amazing uh, to work with your staff, and we're thrilled about the chance uh, to work on this campaign going forward. Um, again, I'd just like to conclude today's announcement and thank everyone for being here today. It's not lost on us that nearly 40 different companies and organizations have supported Lansing 501 through the years. Uh, some of those other employer partners are actually represented uh, here in the room today, so I'd like to thank you all for being here as well. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without your support. On the behalf of our entire 501 team, I'd just like to reiterate our appreciation for everything you've done and are looking forward to continued collaboration, particularly in light of this exciting new project and campaign. Uh, I'll just end on this note. For the last two years, we've been asking the question of all of our employer partners and community partners, how do you recruit new talent? How do you get uh, your nephew, your friend, a prospective job candidate excited about living in Lansing? Because we know that our employers promise a wonderful job and career experience. But we know that that's only half the battle. And sometimes the more important part of the equation is, how can we convince them that Lansing is the place they want to call home? And every time we've asked that question over the last year and a half, we get a different response. We are thrilled about the opportunity going forward to create a comprehensive tool that all of us can use together to create a, con a consistent onboarding experience so that when people learn about Lansing, they say, that's the place I want to call home. I want to move there. I want to stay there because this is my place and these are my kind of people. Thank you so much for being here today. I believe we will have some time for some interviews after uh, the conclusion of our announcement. So thank you again, we appreciate it. Everybody who's here, we understand why we live here, why we visit here, why we work here, why we love Lansing, because it's my kind of people. We're here for the people, we're here for the fun and the excitement. Lansing 501 is, is increasing that. You know, we've had rooftop events, they've got beach events, they've got zip lining and things. You know, we are here showing that Lansing is a lot of fun, there's a lot of things to do in Lansing, and the people who are here want to be here and they love the people. So we invite you to Lansing and we look forward to seeing you soon.